The anatomical position is a standardized posture used as a reference point in anatomy and medicine. In this position, the body stands upright with the feet parallel and flat on the ground. The individual faces forward, with the eyes looking straight ahead. The arms hang naturally by the sides, fully extended, and the palms of the hands are turned forward. With the thumbs pointing away from the body, the legs are parallel and the toes point forward while the entire body weight is evenly distributed on both feet. The anatomical position provides a consistent and universally accepted framework for describing the location, orientation, and relationships of various structures within the human body. The human body is divided into several cavities, each containing and protecting specific organs. The major cavities are dorsal and ventral body cavities. Dorsal body cavity is subdivided into cranial and spinal cavities. Cranial cavity houses the brain and is formed by the bones of the skull. Spinal vertebral cavity encases the spinal cord and is formed by the vertebrae. Ventral body cavity is subdivided into the following cavities. Thoracic cavity contains the heart and lungs. Pleural cavities each surrounds one lung. Pericardial cavity encloses the heart. Abdominopelvic cavity further divided into the abdominal and pelvic cavities. Abdominal cavity houses organs such as the stomach, liver, and intestines. Pelvic cavity contains the bladder, reproductive organs, and parts of the large intestine. These cavities serve as protective spaces, helping to prevent internal organs from external damage and providing support and structure to the body. Planes of section refer to imaginary flat surfaces that can be used to divide the human body or any three-dimensional structure into distinct portions for anatomical or medical purposes. The three primary planes of section are 1. Sagittal plane. A vertical plane that divides the body into left and right portions. The mid-sagittal plane runs exactly through the midline, creating equal left and right halves, while parasagittal planes are off-center. 2. Frontal coronal plane. A vertical plane that divides the body into front anterior and back posterior portions. This plane is perpendicular to the sagittal plane. 3. Transverse horizontal plane. A horizontal plane that divides the body into upper superior and lower inferior portions. This plane is perpendicular to both the sagittal and frontal planes.